Do you have a cell phone or do you have a hell phone? Cell phones are, are not my thing. I'll start off by saying a disclaimer. I don't like cell phones. I can't stand them. My wife and three daughters love cell phones. They have the fancy internet ones where you can go on and surf the net and you can send, you know, do all the fancy texting and all that kind of stuff. I don't get into any of that kind of thing. I was always happy with just a landline in my house, just having a record. I don't like the phone. I don't use it very often at all. I'm not a phone person. And the, the landline got to be so expensive, and it was hardly ever used, so we ditched it. Just went to all cell phones. And I've got the basic little flip phone with nothing. Mine, <laughs> mine's like the one that has very little of anything. You can just make phone. You, I'm, I'm sure you can text on it, but I don't. Paul Kidd don't text, okay? I, I don't mess with that kind of stuff. But so many people nowadays, they don't even have cell phones anymore. They have hell phones, okay? They send nasty texts, pornographic pictures of themselves, nasty little comments and filthy little porno jokes, and they'll text about evil stuff and about sinful stuff, and they'll, you know, they'll just go to all these different sites, and they'll use their, their cell phone to surf the net for pornography, and to get to watch nasty videos, listen to nasty music, and all kinds of stuff, and they're, they're not even cell phones anymore, they're hell phones, and it's just so sad, it breaks my heart, you know, technology is such a wonderful thing, but unfortunately, and, and, and sadly, there's no excuse for this, it's pathetic, but the majority of people that use technology use it for evil, it's the, it's the extreme minority that use it for good, and I don't care how many people use things that are, that have potential to be good, for evil, Paul Kidd's not one of those. I'm going to always use whatever I can find to reach the lost. You know, if I didn't, I've got nine nine different ministries right now I'm involved with. Praise the Lord. He gives me the strength. And they're all online. And it's just amazing. He, he allows me to get everything done every day that i got to do. But if I had time, I'd get some kind of cell phone ministry going on if, if I could figure it out. But i got so many coals in the fire right now. So many so many things trying to... to to, you know, to, to further the kingdom of God here on earth as, as in heaven. All for his glory. Never for mine, because you see, my friends, I'm just a, a tiny little fish in a huge pond. I'm the very least in God's kingdom. I'm nothing but his foot slave for Jesus Christ, but the Holy Spirit is strong in me, man. He, he fills me head to toe to the membrane level, to the cellular membrane. He does mighty things through me. It's all through his glory. Nothing, from, never anything for me. But I just stay focused, but that's what we got to do, my friends. You know, if you're using a cell phone as a hell phone, man, just stop. Just call a timeout. <laughs> just throw it in reverse, man. Rewind it and just start new. Ask, fall on your knees and say, Jesus, I'm sorry for using my cell phone as a hell phone. I'm sorry for, for doing nasty things on it and saying nasty things and, and for using it to take away from my time to witness for you, my time to read the Bible, my time to pray. Because it can become an obsession, man. It, it, it can become a habit that you just can't break in anything that you have in life that supersedes your time and efforts for the Lord Jesus Christ, it's a God, my friends, with a little g. And we, Jesus said, we shall have no gods before me through God, Jehovah God, our Heavenly Father and His Son, Jesus Christ, are the only gods we're to have. And there, there, there's no, there's no, um, you know, using a, a hell phone as our God. That's not going to cut it. It's just time to really, really figure it out, man, and just and just say, Jesus, I, I, I'm sorry. You know, maybe you can use your turn your hell phone into a cell phone again. <laughs> Imagine that. Turn it back into a cell phone and witness for people. Drop a little text to someone, tell them how much Jesus Christ loves them. Put John 3:16 in there. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Send pictures of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Take that hell phone and turn it around, man, into a cell phone again. What it was made to be. And let's just go ahead and and just just try to change it for Jesus Christ. Turn something good that's been used for evil back to good. And it, it creeps up on us so slowly, my friends. You might not even realize your cell phone's a hell phone. You might say, well, you know, Paul, kid, uh, uh, I might use a cell phone a lot and I might do a lot of things, but... It's not a hell phone. But see, that's what Satan does, my friends. He just sneaks in. He gets a toehold in there, then a foot, then an ankle, then a calf, then a knee, then a thigh, then a hip. Then he's got you. He's got you already by then. 
Let's use our cell phones for Jesus Christ. Okay? Let's make them heaven phones. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Heaven phones. They don't rhyme like hell phones, but heaven is where it's at. You know, and I was telling one of my friends on Facebook, one of my dear friends, Naomi, I was dropping a, you know, we were just posting back and forth on my wall the other day. And it's funny that <laughs> she makes hell on all kinds of stuff, make turns words with into a hell word, and I do the same thing. And I said, isn't it amazing how easy it is to, to, to put things that are evil or have potential for evil to make it into hell? And she said, yeah, it is. It's amazing. It's amazing. Satan has got such a grip on this world, man. He's got a huge grip. We need to get Jesus Christ to free that grip. Put us back in the center of God's will. Use our cell phones for good things. If you've got a hell phone, turn it off. If you've got a television, turn it off. If you're watching all kinds of bad Hollywood movies, don't go to the theater. Turn them off. Let's start getting right with Jesus Christ and start serving him the way the Holy Bible says. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray that people would use their cell phones for good, for the glory of God, not as hell phones. They're everywhere now, man. I, 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 haven't, I can't believe how many cell phones there are. And they're so fancy. And there's such a potential for good with these things. Help, help people to use them for good, Jesus. Help people just convict, rebuke, correct, teach. And just don't let any of us rest or have any peace or joy or satisfaction or comfort in our lives until we use all the tools that you've given us all the technology you've given us to, to reach the lost, to witness to those who are dying going to hell, to get out reap the harvest, to share the good news of Jesus Christ, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Until we start using those for the purpose that you intended them for, don't give us any peace, Jesus. Don't give us any happiness or comfort. Don't let us put anything as a God with a little G above you. I love you so much, Jesus. Please just draw us near. Draw us close to you. In your precious name I ask you. Amen. As always, my friends, if you watch this video and you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, Pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you're risen again on the third day, and I believe you went back to heaven, to the right-hand side of the Father, and since that day, you've been making a place for Christians forever in heaven. And please forgive me my sins, Jesus. Wash my heart clean and pure. Make me whole, a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. If you pray this prayer, my friends, Jesus says in the Bible that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. If you'd like me to pray with you, if you'd like me to uh, just send me an inbox or private message, you can call me. I'd love to pray with you to be saved. If you have a friend, neighbor, loved one, or co-worker who does not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, if you <clears throat> are sick, you have a sick friend, neighbor, loved one, co-worker, a sick pet, if you need a job, car, home, food, clothing, water, whatever it is, you'd like someone to pray with you, Send me an inbox, a private message. I prayed for him. The Lord gave him the gift of faith. Nothing that I did, all him, but I, ha I now have mustard seed faith. He's, he's turned me loose on the world. Holy Spirit head to toe in the cellular level. And when I pray, I pray believing in my heart 100%. Speak with my mouth 100%, knowing God will answer all my prayers as long as I pray in his holy will. He'll do the same for you, my friends, every one of you. Test him. His word never returns empty. I know we're busy in life, but thanks for watching this video. Taking time to watch it. I pray that you would Share it with everyone that you know. Share this link to this whole channel or any, any video with friends, neighbors, loved ones, co-workers, with strangers. Drop it in a blog somewhere. Drop it online in an article somewhere. Plant a seed. Walk away and let God water it and let it grow. See, people need to be saved. They need to repent of sins and iniquities. They need to get off the sidelines and reap the harvest. They need to, to have miracles happen in their lives. They need to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. The, the Bible preached the way it was written, the way it's preached on this channel. Never for my glory. It's all for the glory of God. The Holy Spirit gives me every word, every title. It's all Him. I take no praise and reflect it back to Him. I love you guys. I pray that God will bless you. I pray for you every night. 